Once upon a time in a faraway kingdom, there lived a beautiful princess named Snow White. She had skin as white as snow, lips as red as blood, and hair as black as ebony. Snow White's mother, the queen, passed away when she was very young, and her father, the king, soon remarried. The new queen was a vain and wicked woman who owned a magical mirror that she would often consult. Every day, the queen would ask her mirror, mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? And every day, the mirror would reply, you, my queen, are the fairest of them all. But as Snow White grew older, her beauty became more radiant. One day, when the queen asked her mirror the same question, the mirror replied, Snow White is the fairest of them all. Consumed by jealousy and rage, the wicked queen devised a plan to rid herself of Snow White forever. She summoned a huntsman and ordered him to take Snow White deep into the forest and kill her. As proof of his deed, she demanded that he bring back Snow White's heart. The huntsman, however, could not bring himself to harm the innocent princess. Instead, he told Snow White to flee into the forest and never return. Grateful for her life, Snow White ran as fast as she could, deeper and deeper into the dark and mysterious woods. Eventually, she came across a tiny cottage nestled in a clearing. Exhausted, she entered the cottage and found it empty, with seven little beds lined up in a row. Snow White lay down across the beds and soon fell into a deep sleep. When she awoke, she found herself surrounded by seven dwarfs who lived in the cottage. Their names were Doc, Grumpy, Happy, Sleepy, Bashful, Sneezy, and Dopey. The dwarfs were kind and offered Snow White shelter in exchange for her help with cooking and cleaning. Snow White gladly accepted, and soon she and the dwarfs became like family. Meanwhile, back at the castle, the wicked queen once again consulted her magic mirror. To her horror, the mirror revealed that Snow White was still alive and living in the forest with the seven dwarfs. Furious, the queen decided to take matters into her own hands. She disguised herself as an old peddler woman and concocted a poisoned apple, which she planned to use to kill Snow White. Disguised, the queen made her way to the dwarf's cottage and offered the poisoned apple to Snow White as a gift. Unaware of the danger, Snow White took a bite of the apple and immediately fell into a deep, death-like sleep. When the dwarfs returned home and found Snow White lying motionless, they were heartbroken. Believing her to be dead, they placed her in a glass coffin and mourned her loss. News of Snow White's beauty and tragic fate spread far and wide, until one day, a prince who had heard the tale arrived at the dwarf's cottage. Struck by Snow White's beauty, even in death, the prince leaned over to kiss her goodbye. As he did, the piece of poisoned apple dislodged from her throat, and Snow White awoke from her deep sleep. The prince and Snow White rejoiced, and the dwarves were overjoyed to see her alive. The wicked queen, upon learning of Snow White's revival, was consumed by her own evil and met a fitting end. Snow White and the prince were soon married in a grand celebration, and they lived happily ever after, forever grateful for the kindness of the seven dwarfs who had protected her. And so, the kingdom was filled with joy and peace, and Snow White's tale became a legend, a story of love, friendship, and the triumph of good over evil.